My name is Vishal Singh. My company is Quantified Ag. We are a precision livestock data analytics company. So our company came from this need for cattle producers to identify sick animals early and being able to identify outliers in their herd. That's where the original uh, concept came from. When we first started out, it was uh, we're kind of tackling it in a much different way. The initial idea was to do thermal imaging of cattle using drones like the one behind me. And then as I actually started talking to cattle producers and learning more about what the specific problem was, how they were going about solving the problem right now, it just seemed to make sense that rather than going that route, there was a better way to go about it, which is what we do today. And that is we make um, sensors that go on the animals and we're able to detect different types of characteristics that people would look for and some stuff that they can't easily measure. And we provide all this information back to our cloud servers where we process all this data from individual animals. And then what we're able to do is uh, through a software interface, provide meaningful information back to the smartphones and computers of feedlot operators. So when I first started out, uh, I was making these drones, and it was really more out of uh, just a personal interest. It was kind of like a hobby. I like doing that type of stuff. And so I was making these drones. I was selling them to crop consultants and other universities for their uh, crop research. And then I I was kind of going down this path of trying to do something bigger along the lines of the whole entrepreneurial, you know, creating a business type of thing out of it. And uh, what I ended up doing was, so I was, I was already started down that path. And one of my business uh, mentors uh, said that, hey, you know, you're going down this path. Maybe you should take a look at a startup accelerator program because that could help you um, just get to your goal faster you can figure out things a lot quicker and you know you'll be surrounded by people that can help you think through this type of stuff so i did i applied to the startup accelerator called end motion which is here in lincoln uh, nebraska and then when i got into it uh, like i said I, the idea i got into it with was that idea of uh, doing thermal imaging of cattle using drones trying to solve that problem of uh, identifying sick animals but then as I went through that process, um, a big part of a startup accelerator is uh, before you build anything, they have you validate your ideas by just talking to your end users or customers. And so I talked to a lot of cattle producers and it just, you know, everything that they were telling me, you know, the specific types of problems they were trying to solve and how they were trying to go about solving them. and. Uh, you know, in this case of identifying sick animals, you know, the symptoms that they would look for, it just made sense that I wouldn't be able to do all that using a drone, that there was a better way to go about doing it. And that's what led to the um, whole path of using ear tags on the cattle that have sensors on them. So as I've taken my company from just an idea to uh, an actual company that's making a product, it's been really important uh, that I have mentors. And the reason is because I'm just one person and I can do everything and know everything. And so it's really important to have people who I can talk to that either have expertise in areas that I don't or just people that I can, um, that I can trust and I can bounce ideas off of or get um, advice from that I know will give me good advice. And I think it's important to do that even if you're not necessarily uh, trying to make your own company. It's a, it's a good idea to have mentors in your life. Okay. Well, internships is, are really important because uh, when I was a student in the, in, in, in the same shoes as our interns going through my undergrad, I went through an internship and what that taught me was it went from doing just projects that uh, were more or less class assignments to actually working on a real world problem. A, a real world project for a real client and that's a really uh, important um, gap to step over and to be able to make that connection because then the more of that type of experience you have the more prepared you are to go out into the working world after you graduate. 